think it is now, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. Let's get, let's get into this. I think we all know the purposes and directives and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I'll have you guys all take turns, okay, as we read. I'll read the first one, and you guys just go through the next. It's only 18 slides, so we got this. So I'll go with vector, which refers to, and organisms, primary orthopods, rodents, which play a significant role in transmission of disease to men, active intermittent hosts, and reservoirs of disease, present problems of sanitary and significance, or otherwise affect the health and efficiency of personnel. All right, we'll go with you and go like that. Uh, pesticide resistance, resistance of pests to Pesticides is defined as the ability of a given population to withstand a poison that was effectively lethal to earlier generations of the species. Okay, I almost broke out, so I'm gonna go next one. <laughs> All right, uh, medical department representative, uh, inspections and surveys to determine the species, source, location, and density of vectors. Recommendations uh, relating to sanitation standards and practices affecting the presence and abundance of vectors and utilization of vector control methods. Evaluation of the effectiveness of vector control measures and take charge in the event of a vector-borne disease outbreak. Okay, so you guys will mainly see this type of things on ships. If you ever go to a ship, you'll be dealing with all of this stuff. You have a whole cabinet full of like arsenals and traps and all kinds of stuff, especially when they get a, um, an unwrap and they do the vertical wrap with the uh, the supplies. They make us go out there and like check it for like roaches and insects and stuff like that. But when we're on the end, for the Marine Corps though, they usually have prev med techs there. Mm -hmm. So usually the prev med techs, like kind of, they kind of do everything related to all of that. I mean, sometimes we might have to do it if say we're on like a, if we're the only medical representation there. But usually if you were the medical battalion, no, they're, they're there. So we're good there. Yeah, like five at the same time. Goddamn, there they go. <laughs> okay, stop. Classification of pesticides. Acaricide, a substance yeah. used to control mites, scorpions, spiders, ticks, and related organisms. Fungicide, a substance used to control fungi. Uh, herbicide, a substance used to control undesired vegetation. And a rodenticide, used to control rodents. Okay, so. I have seen questions like this on the test, but the thing is you don't know which one you're gonna get. That's the only thing about it. So you have to know the difference between all of them really. But I have seen like maybe one question from like, uh, I just told like a thing here. Out of my 13 times taking it. So Could you keep it up for a moment? Yeah. But you just gotta know the difference, which one's which. They'll, stay, they'll make a comment about one of them. And you just have to know what it is. Mine was like the rodent one. No, I think it was the A one, the one at the top. Yeah, I've seen the top one. <laughs> yeah. the, I think the last three, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah cause it's easy. I think it was the first one. Okay. I was like, what in the hell is that? Ain't it hot here? It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> All set, everybody? Yep. All right, go to the next slide. All right, classification of pesticides. Insecticide, a substance used to control insects, sometimes used in broader sense to include the control of arthropods other than insects. Classification of insecticides may be subdivided on the basis of life stage against which they are used. Adult side, used to control the adult stage of an insect. Larva side is used to control the larva stage of an insect. And then side is used to control the egg stage of an insect. Then it says molluscicide, I hope I said that right. Is used to control snails and other mollusks. I can't stand snails, y'all. And you know what? Japan has huge ones there. 
These damn things are about the size of your freaking hand, I swear to God. Yep. So nasty. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Stop. This is gross. Ugh, I just can't stand. I don't like looking at him. I mean, he would be like messing with him and stuff. Like, oh, anyway. All right, everybody good? <laughs> All right, pesticides by chemical group: inorganic pesticides, chlorinated hydrocarbons. I can't say so many words. Organophosphates. Organ phosphates. Organophosphates. Organophosphates. Good to go. Yeah. And then methylene. Malium, math, I can't say whatever. Uh, carbonates and botanicals. Yeah. I haven't heard any of these things. Pesticide mode of entry, stomach contact, and fumigant. Fumigant. Yep, fumigant. Fumigant. I mean, let's try to say these super fancy words. <laughs> All right, pesticide this dispersal. Dispersal. Gases, vapors, arsenals, mist, sprays. Fine sprays, 100 to 400 micros in diameter. Uh, coarse spray, it's greater than 400 micros in a diameter. Hazards, stomach poisons, contact poisons, rodenticides, this anticoagulants, this warfarin, warfarin. Mm -hmm. and we have uh, fumigants. Fumigant. It says methyl, I can't even say that. <laughs> Methylbromide, aluminum, phosphide, Good, good. Organophosphorus, pesticide poisoning, and suggestions for treatment. Irreversible chonosomes. What is it? Who's coming? <laughs> I have not seen some of these at all, but I have seen that bottom, the treatment thing I met, the two to four milligrams of atrophy. That's definitely there to treat for the endos. Those two jibs you get fucked up on that. Yep, two to four milligrams of atrophy. That's I believe. I haven't seen any of these other things. Oh, colonesterase. That's what it is. Colonesterase. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, back to the short. Look, mosquitoes. Oh, I can't stand those things. But I got, I got a secret for you guys for those guys. So I got something to tell you. Um, Eddies, Anaphylis, Culex, Tillamia, Dengue, Yellow Fever, Malaria. So that's what they transport. Yep, that's what they give you. Or, yeah, they give people. Uh, fly is the house fly, flesh fly, blow fly, sand fly, and we have the uh, less men. You see a little laugh. There we go. You know what I mean. But um, okay, so for mosquitoes, okay, since I've been a homeowner basically, mosquitoes have been a big issue. Like, why do there so many mosquitoes out here? And then guess what? A random person that's like 80 years old told me what to do about the freaking mosquitoes, and I never knew. But uh, basically, he said you have to get buckets of water. You get buckets of water and put them around the house, like put one on each corner, and he said, or where you, where you really don't want the mosquitoes, basically, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, you gotta get these little, uh, these little, like it's called mites or, or mat thingies, these little like tan things, and you put it inside the water. Basically, when you do that, it makes all the freaking mosquitoes that go in your backyard go to those locations and lay their eggs there. But when they lay their eggs there, their eggs die because uh, the mite stuff that you put in there kills them all. So they don't uh, reproduce, but then also mosquitoes so die. They die like in like a week or something like that. I know they have short, such short lifespans, <laughs> but they'll lay their eggs and die basically. And then their, their eggs die too, because they put them in that water. Oh, but I, I swear to God, like there's still, there's still some mosquitoes now, but it's a lot less than what there was. So that's the secret for mosquitoes, y'all. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right, the cockroach, y'all. Everybody know about the cockroach? Yeah. All right, German, tan straw, colored, most common found in galleys. This is one of the questions. Yeah. Then we got the brown banded, it's a lighter in color and slightly smaller than the German, with two yellow bands at the base of wings. We got the American, it's dark reddish brown, usually 35 uh, millimeters long. His average lifespan is two to five years, 2.5 years, I'm sorry. Particularly filthy habits. <laughs> People, people have to see how this something is what it means. <laughs> okay. The Australian similar to the American is yellow strip. It says down its back though. As others are Oriental cockroach, Florida woods cockroach, the brown cockroach, smoky brown cockroach. But yeah, the German. The German one is the, the big one. Yeah. That's the one's on the test. 
I see now, like, when they do ask about cockroaches, they ask about the German one. But yeah, filthy habits is real. That is so true. Like, people who, like, don't clean it up for themselves and stuff like that, that's when you start finding roaches. Brown or gray rats, ratness, milkies, ah, there we go, I said right, it is a comparative large animal weighing approximately 240 to 480 grams, hmm. or 10 to 17 ounces, that sounds better, with a tail that does not exceed the combined length of the head and body. It's a kind of a long tail. Yes, yeah, short tail. It's a large tail. <laughs> All right, oh, there. New York rat. Yeah, then we have uh, the roof rat. Uh, it says gray belly, that shows your or roof rat, and it has that fancy name again, it looks like. Uh, Redus, Rattus, Alexandrines. I actually never seen a name of rats that, but okay. It's a good climber and may be found in living trees, vines, the building lofts, overhead wiring, and upper decks of ships. So the body is generally elongated, the ears are long, and the tail exceeds the combined length of the head and body. House rat. <laughs> I don't think it's too much on the house rat though. House rat. Alright, Oh, that was it. Dang, good day. Good day. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, it's three. So, this PowerPoint doesn't talk about, um, like, um, for ships and, like, try to keep the rats off. You have these little, I can't remember the deni dynamiter of those things either. Dang it. Who didn't want that? The, the rat guards, yeah. yeah. And then the length, the how far it's supposed to be from the ship is like, I think it's like two feet from the ship. Yep. And then it's like six from the from the pier or something like that. Yeah, from shore, yeah. Yep. And then I think the actual guard itself, I think it's uh, three feet, or I think it's three feet in diameter or something like that. But I can't, but it's not in here. I'm not sure why. It's probably a shitty PowerPoint as well. Anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, this is uh, your chapter eight, rat chapter guards nine. Are two feet from the ship. It's two feet from a ship. I think it's like six. I think I have an I have an actual voice now on this not on this uh, thing now. But mine actually has the the actual details. Okay. Let me see. I think maybe does my thing go over that? It might. Hold up. No forces. Yeah, I thought I had it in here. Maybe I don't. Just something to look up. We can add it to this. All right, good to go. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, like, yeah, I'm not gonna keep you guys that long. So, like, yeah. So, chapter nine. You guys have my uh, my freaking study guide. Just look at the chapter nine study guide that I have for you guys in here, and it, it, it's really it's very specific to everything that's in the in the book. So, you guys study that today. Okay. You guys are free to freaking mouths. Yeah. But you guys don't be caught up in y'all because me and doing stuff, okay? Y'all can't leave alone to us. But other than that, you guys agree. You guys are like, still, I'll keep it up for a little bit. You're already gone. <laughs> she said, I gotta tell her twice. Ah! It's all good. Uh, so so we're free. Cool. Yeah. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all see you guys in the morning. I'll be here. I think tomorrow is our full day. Yep. You guys have a, I think a sea troops coming? Yep. Yeah. I got a, I got a for the Joneses for him. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna go study for my finals. Hmm. Hey, that uh, PowerPoint was not. Yeah. That was the worst one. Yeah, today, yeah. <laughs> but I did get the uh, videos for Robert.